Hey guys, what up here, and welcome back to NASCAR 14 Crew Room Part 29. More of the same, uh, we did win at Chicagoland pretty easily, and New Hampshire really got nothing to look forward to because we already advanced to the next round, so it's more or less just looking around to see who makes it and or who just runs well in this race. So here's our chase grid at the moment. The top 12 make it, so we're going to New Hampshire, which Vickers... Uh, one there so could he go for the sweep i don't know but other than that there's not too much else to go into this should be a relatively chill race all things considered from our perspective so but for but because i'm kind of curious i will at least put in uh a, pretty much the best stuff we can possibly imagine just for the hell of it because i really want to see if our car is good enough to 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 do good because this will give me a good idea of what to expect from Martinsville so it's a good test. Here's our settings 100% difficulty, 20% 60 laps, 3 times tire and fuel and that would be it. So we'll go into qualifying and see if uh, our car is any better than last time we were here. So I, I don't know, just <laughs> we'll see. I, I can't talk still, the damn kinker store is still being a pain. I don't want to zoom in on it because I've already done that like twice so we're not going to do that anymore. But it sucks. It, it really sucks to talk, but I'm still here chugging along like a beat-up car. I don't know. I, it's an analogy. I tried. Well, uh, we really didn't fare out much better than what we did in the first New Hampshire race, so that's kind of sad. Casey Kane made it to the second round. That I mean, he's first there, but obviously it, it, it doesn't matter because he it at least tells me that, hey, he's not going to start 24. And I don't know who got the pole, but Vickers 11th, okay. Greg Biffle on a pole and Casey Kane second. I don't know what it is with Casey Kane, but all of a sudden now he's 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 sandbagged the whole season, and now he's finally turning up for the race. That's that's just I, gotta love the chase format. Well, here we go. 60 laps. Our fuel run should be about a little bit over 15 laps, if I remember correctly. But. All we gotta do is try to survive. We did get second here, but that was kind of based on weird pit strategies. So I don't know. It's I don't know what it is with the New Hampshire and Bristol and Martinsville. They're just tracks that are just almost impossible to run good at. That is a frame rate drop in half. That's when you know I just kind of got on the game and just started recording. I didn't even practice. So again, it doesn't really matter all too much just because you know we already got a win. So it's just. We'll just see how it kind of plays out as I'm almost going to put the damn car in the wall. And we're almost going to go back to last. So it's good to know that all these upgrades into the car, it, it really didn't do shit here. So that's, that's kind of sad. But Oh, and we scraped the wall a little bit. Just add insult to injury. Now I'm triggered. Just trying desperately to hang on. It's just, it's just not good. It just doesn't like to go through the corners at all. They just, for some reason, they're just... 15 miles an hour faster for me and that's it's not fun again the only thing we'll have to bank on is just pit strategy and having us go green the whole way because we are we are damn well not going to finish good based on speed so it's just uh, i just feel like a roadblock and i feel like i might as well just go back to last just to get the shit out of everyone's system because they're trying very hard to wreck because they're like three wide and everything so I feel like it would just do the, wow, Mears and Walter both hit the wall because of me. I feel like a tumor. I just <laughs> ran into David Reagan, I think. I kill him, I'm sorry. But, yeah. <laughs> it just sucks. I got no words to describe it. It's just not good at all. Car outside. Car at your door. Up top, at your door. Well, I'll be damned. That's our first actual clean pass in this race. That's a that's a milestone. And look at that. We're going to get by Landon Castle. And it looks like, from what I can tell, the car has good straightaway speed. I I think. I, that's the only thing I, I, can, I can assume. Nice run off turn two. Kind of went three wide there. But... You know, now that it's kind of... Ooh, boy, that's a... That's a dive bomb and a half. That that was terrible. I am so sorry, Cole Witt. He didn't... Of all people for me to hit, Cole Witt was one of them that did not deserve to be hit. I mean, he's already struggling enough as is in this game. And I just made his life <laughs> that much more miserable. Off turn four. 
We'll make the pass on Mimichek, move ourselves up to 33rd. So, I mean, hey, we are at the very least gaining spots, and it is interesting, so... Better than Heat 3, question mark? <laughs> because, I mean, something's happening. I'm not just last by myself. And poor Joe Nemechek's car is all smashed up on the side there. And I, w I wish the outside line worked, but it doesn't. And we did lose some spots from that, so that, that kind of sucks. <laughs> well, that was... Uh, pointless to do but at least the battle for a lead up there is interesting it's been swapping from Biffle, Truex, and Jimmy Johnson there for instance so at least something interesting is happening I just it's just too bad I can't really see it damn <laughs> damn Yaley wanted to go and I don't blame him but holy crap Mikey! It's always Michael Waltrip here at New Hampshire. Well, I don't know what it is, but he, he just really wants to, to go fast, and it's kind of you know, good for him. I'm glad he feels that way. There goes Mikey again. I I don't know what it is with him and, and this track and, and me. It's, <laughs> he just wants to be a big meanie head. I just I don't understand. He's just so desperate to try to run better than me. It's like his it's like a it's like a complex for him. But we'll get a good run off turn two, get to the inside. We actually bumped him, so that that's kinda like payback, but there we go. We'll uh, retake the spot and we'll I really wasn't trying to pass Nemo check, but them break upgrades, they kinda work. <laughs> we'll pit this lap. We can actually make it on just two stops, so with all those cars down pit road, they're going to have to take a, an extra uh, stop. So at this rate, we might finish literal P4 when this is all said and done. So that's cool. They'll just see if they can make it. But yeah, it's it's looking good. We might just get a, get ourselves a easy top five finish as long as they don't speed down pit road. Okay, we're good. We're good. So pretty standard stuff like usual. And... We should cycle back out probably around the 30s, and yep, I was right. And actually, it might be a little bit further back. No, 35th, okay. Well, that's not horrible, and the field is definitely thinned out, so hopefully this uh, part of the race, we can just kind of have a chill run. That would be really nice, because it's, it hurts to talk, and, you know, uh, any, any cheap way I can have of not talking... Uh, the better for, for my poor mouth. And it looks like I, I'll get my wish. Never mind, because we got a really good run off turn two. And, yeah, again, if this plays out, we'll easily get a top five. And if it does play out, I think Jimmy Johnson might get the win. Because he was the only car that stayed out in lap 20. So, um, a damn. And I think we're going to get the fastest... No, not the fastest lap, but definitely... An admirably good lap time. Got by Michael and Nett there, and now we're going to set our sights on Joe Nemechek. Again, <laughs> kind of like a spring race, we get really good runs off the corner, which is nice. That was a slick crossover move. I'll give you that, Nemechek. That was pretty dope, if that's the right term to use. But after him, it's just uh, Danny Kapatrick up the road, like, almost two and a half seconds. So after Nemechek, it's going to be boring for a little bit, so... Good for me. Good for the viewers. I mean, it's not like you're gonna, you're not gonna sit here for like 15 laps waiting. But so um, there's that. But hey, that's where the power of editing comes into play. So we pretty much cut the gap to Danica from about two and a half to 1.3, and we're actually closing in on Biffle too, which is interesting. It actually seems like when we're by ourselves and we have no cars to, around us to be pressured or annoyed by, and when the field thins out, we're pretty damn good. So that's interesting. It'll be this will be one of those tracks where it's like we really need to do like a fifty percent race here or something because we might actually be quick enough to to get the lead or maybe even win. But then the fuel strategy thing comes into play and it's gonna ruin it. But at least on mere race pace alone, 
were not bad. It just it just takes so long for the field to, to spread out and and everything, which is a little annoying. We'll pit this lap again. Another interesting uh, element is Biffle is still out there. He could make it 20 laps in the last field run. So amazingly, he uh, is playing some psychological games on the field apparently. So. That's interesting. Actually, Gordon's now staying out longer, so I don't I don't know how this is all gonna play out, but obviously Biff or Gordon need to win to move on to the next round. That'd be pretty cool. So we'll see. But anyway, it's just another four tires and fuel for ourselves, and we'll just kind of see how this all uh, shakes up. By the numbers, pit stop. I'm running out of words to describe like me just even pit roads. So I apologize. But now we're back in 31st like we were before in the like the first round of the race. Unless we have some more cars down Piro, which obviously is the case because Newman's there. But this is likely where we're going to probably, I don't even know if we're really going to pass any cars. <laughs> we actually lost ground to Danica, so um, oh, oh no. Now Dale Jr. takes the lead. Now I don't think he can make it. He pitted on lap 39, so I mean it, it is doable. Greg Bipple was able to stretch it more than 20 laps, so... I don't know. It's uh, we'll see how it plays out. But if it's either Bill Jr. is literally taking it a, a a win in your in scenario because if he can't win it, he's gonna have to pit and then he's gonna be like in the thirties and it's gonna really screw him. So it's it's a big gamble. I just doubt it'll work out because Dale Jr. never has good luck in the chase, hardly ever. Oh, uh, looks like Danica's short pitting. Kind of an interesting strategy. Not sure how it'll work out, but it's something to know. I gotta talk about something. There's not, there's not much else going on. Bergman went down pit road. Now, if this plays out, we should at the very least, because we were like seventh with that last green flag pit stop. So like by the time we pit, so I'm almost banking on the top ten, but I'm not certain. I'm almost positive that's the, the outcome. With five laps to go, it was Truex leading, and then Harvick took it, which is kind of a big deal. Because Harvick's really the only guy without a win that's in the Chavite I burp. I had nothing to drink for, like, many minutes. I don't... I, what is wrong with me? But now Truex took back the lead. Alright, well, I mean, we're 20th right now, and starting to sweat a little bit. I don't know if we could even really get that top 10 I was talking about earlier. Okay, never mind. <laughs> A bunch of them pitted that lap. And we'll move ourselves up to, I think, 14th, I think. And no, it's 15th. But Newman's up there, only about a second up the road. And I don't know. And Truex is pitting. And that gives Gordon the lead. Yeah, it's a little weird. But the good thing is, Vickers will not repeat. I saw him down period many laps ago, so he's like in the 20s somewhere. So he's not going to be a factor. But Jeff Gordon... Looking to punch his ticket into the next round. As long as he doesn't pit. That would be kind of sad if he pits on the white flag. But it's happened before. It's not It's not anything new. We're actually... Okay, Almer... Almer... Almendinger. I, he, had, he had nothing to accomplish there other than his own self... Self-worth. Because that was just pointless. And... A couple... Actually, yeah, a couple cars had down pit road that lap. And we move ourselves up into the top ten. Now the thing is, will Gordon actually make it on fuel. Because remember at Homestead, uh, not Homestead, uh, Watkins Glen, Jimmy Johnson pitted coming off the final corner. Made no sense and it was dumb as hell, but that's what he did. And we're in sixth right now. Alright, looks like Gord's gonna, he's gonna make it on fuel and he'll win it. Well, damn. GG, Jeff Gordon will finish this race up in sixth place, as long as they don't die, but all right, I mean, that's about, well, it's not bad, I'll take it. Not as good as the spring race, but still good all things considered. And I think all of the drivers in the top, I don't even know. That was, again, weird how that played out. Greg Biffle second, I'm, <laughs> I'm spitting. Greg Biffle second, Jimmy Johnson third, Hamlin fourth, Newman fifth, damn. Casey Kane seventh too, not bad for him. Dale Jr. ended up getting 14th, led some laps as well as Harvick. And, yeah, it's uh, certainly shuffled up a bit as we only have, uh, how many on lead lap? Uh, oh my, not even 10? 11 on lead lap, my goodness. 
And the lead has shook up quite a bit, so it's a very entertaining race. It's just, I wish I was there to see it, but I couldn't. Well, we didn't get the win, but Jeff Gordon moves himself into the next round, and Biffle <laughs> doing good, as well as Jimmy Johnson and Casey Kane. I I can't believe it. Casey Kane is pulling a Newman, except he has a win <laughs> this season, but as of right now, the top nine looks pretty good, actually. Uh, 12th, Harvick is 10 points above the cut line, which is not too bad. And then Kyle Busch is almost 20. So Harvick on back or kind of on edge. Uh, mainly it's between... Eh, it's basically, it could be all of them because they're only separated by like 15 points. So, well, 25 points. But uh, it's, you, know, you never know. You never know. Going to Dover 2, that's another bizarre pit strategy race, too, where they, I make it in some camps, so I'm sure that'll get all wonky, but as of everything else, I think, you know, I think the top, uh, the top five look good, I think, <laughs> but that's about it for that, and no new sponsors, I think that's it for the sponsor stuff. The only thing we can get is just renewals of it, and that'll be a little bit better, but that's that'll be it. And that was New Hampshire. Um, kind of underwhelming, but then again, we, we got a top 10, so that's good. And the next part will be Dover. Big shout-out to my Tier 3 Patreon supporters, the Dem Realms, Wither Bros, Kamikaze Games, Ryan Lazar, and Dave Hunter, Chip 15, Alan Gray, Motorsports Games, Robert Dillon, and Zach Page for a donation again. I can't thank guys enough for your contribution and support to the channel every single month. It does me a lot, and... Like usual, I'm very grateful and thankful for your continued support, like always. I'll see you all next part. Um, I don't know what I'll do next part. It. This is just an idea, so don't hold me to it. It's a case-by-case -case scenario, but if we have a very just dominating race at Dover and nothing much happens, then we'll do Kansas. And if that's very uneventful with not much happening, then we'll do Charlotte. And if that's uneventful, then that would probably be the part. So if, if it somehow, some way, plays out, it's just like if the stars align, and it plays out perfectly, you may just get three for one in next part. Maybe. I don't know. But we'll see. Other than that, um, because those tracks, too, are kind of weird with the fuel strategy, and also, even without the fuel strategy, I think we still would run very, very well. So... Those are, it's it's the potential. It's the potential. So, I'm, I'm curious. I'm curious if it's doable. I don't know. <laughs> but anyways, I will see you all next part, and I'll see you all later, and as always, have a good day, everyone.